The cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator, or CFTR protein, is located in the apical membrane of cells lining the airways and also can be found in other areas of the body, including the sweat glands, intestinal, reproductive, hepatic, and renal epithelia. The CFTR protein facilitates the transport of chloride into and out of cells. CFTR is a complex glycoprotein composed of 1,480 amino acids. CFTR has a regulatory domain that contains phosphorylation sites. The CFTR protein has two nucleotide binding domains, NBD1 and NBD2, and two transmembrane domains, TMD1 and TMD2. The movement or conductance of chloride across the CFTR protein requires phosphorylation of the regulatory domain. In addition, binding and hydrolysis of ATP are required for the opening and closing of the CFTR channel. This process is also known as gating of CFTR. The CFTR gene is located on the long arm of chromosome 7. Under normal circumstances, the DNA is read and transcribed to messenger RNA, during which the introns are spliced out. The messenger RNA strand exits the nucleus of the cell and travels to the ribosome, where it is translated to the immature CFTR protein product. In the endoplasmic reticulum, or ER, other proteins called chaperones help to fold the protein. CFTR is then transferred to the Golgi apparatus. From the Golgi, transport vesicles are created and the CFTR protein is transported to the cell surface membrane. This process is also known as trafficking of CFTR. Different CFTR mutations cause disruptions at various stages of CFTR protein synthesis or in several aspects of function. Mutations that cause a splicing defect result in CFTR messenger RNA that is not properly processed. Although some functional protein may be produced, the amount of CFTR at the cell surface is decreased in comparison to normal levels. Premature stop codon mutations prevent full translation of mRNA, resulting in truncated CFTR, which is not functional and never reaches the cell surface. Other CFTR mutations, including the most common one, F508 deletion, affect post-translational folding and transport of the CFTR protein to the cell surface, also known as a trafficking defect. These misfolded proteins are retained in the endoplasmic reticulum and degraded. The result is that only a small quantity of CFTR protein reaches the cell surface. Other mutations result in CFTR protein that reaches the apical membrane However, the channel does not open properly, which is known as a gating defect. Or it has impaired chloride movement or a conductance defect. This results in diminished chloride transport across the cell membrane. Some references cite another group of mutations in which the normal amount of functional CFTR protein is produced and reaches the cell surface. However, due to an increased turnover rate, there is less functional CFTR remaining at the cell surface. As we have described, these cystic fibrosis-associated mutations in the CFTR gene can result in less CFTR protein at the cell surface absence of CFTR protein, or dysfunctional CFTR protein at the cell surface.
In the sweat glands, cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator, CFTR, is a major mediator for chloride absorption. Under normal conditions, chloride and sodium ions are reabsorbed via CFTR and sodium channels respectively. In cystic fibrosis, chloride reabsorption is diminished due to impaired or absent CFTR protein, and sodium uptake is also reduced, resulting in increased sodium chloride in the sweat. In the normal lung, the airway surface liquid, or ASL, supports an environment in which cilia can beat freely and clear mucus that has trapped inhaled particles. Active secretion of chloride via the CFTR channel and absorption of sodium are necessary to regulate the volume of the ASL. In cystic fibrosis, chloride secretion in the airway epithelia via CFTR is either absent or impaired, and sodium is hyperabsorbed. These defects in ion transport lead to depletion of the ASL, which results in decreased mucus clearance, thick secretions, and obstruction of the airways. Bacterial colonization due to the lack of clearance of thick, sticky mucus from the airways is a contributor to the progressive lung disease in cystic fibrosis. Several types of compounds are under investigation that specifically target dysfunctional CFTR. Three major types are suppressors of premature stop codons, CFTR correctors, and CFTR potentiators. Premature stop codon mutations prevent full translation of messenger RNA. To address this problem, agents are under investigation that suppress the premature stop codon, allowing translation of a full-length CFTR protein that then reaches the cell surface where it may be able to transport chloride to the airway lumen. Other CFTR mutations affect folding and transport of the protein, also known as trafficking. The result is that only a small quantity of CFTR protein reaches the cell surface. Investigational agents called CFTR correctors aim to increase the delivery and amount of functional CFTR protein to the cell surface, resulting in enhanced ion transport. With other CFTR mutations, although the CFTR protein reaches the cell surface and is present in normal amounts, it fails to transport chloride due to impaired activity of the channel. Investigational agents called CFTR potentiators aim to increase the channel activity of the CFTR protein located at the cell surface, resulting in enhanced ion transport.